Hi, I'm Jim Fossell with Legal Help for Veterans, and this is Four Minutes with Legal Help for Veterans, a veterans disability law firm with a nationwide practice helping our veterans get the benefits which, to which they're entitled and which they've earned. Uh, we come to you every week and want to talk about four quick things. So let's start off right with um, the issue of do I really need to go to my CNP exam? Now, we've talked what it takes to become service disabled. You've got to have that current diagnosis, service connection, and medical nexus. And as part of that process, the VA is going to ask you to go to a cap and pen exam, CNP exam. And we had something come up this week that I wanted to share with you, maybe as a way that you can approach these. We had somebody, a client who said, look at this outfit I've never heard of before, called me up for an exam. They want me to go somewhere I'm not comfortable going. I'm not going. And now we've talked before how it's important to go to the CNP exams. Otherwise the VA may use that um, against you. But there, but there is something you should know. Now it, um, it's in the news that VA is switching its whole examination process for disability over to private contractors. So it's going to contract out all of this. It's been doing it a little bit each year, but now it's said, look at with our staffing shortages, we're going 100% to outside contractors. And they will be companies whose names you've never heard of, like QTC or LHI or VES. And each of those will have subcontractors. So again, you're going to get contacted by somebody or an outfit you've never heard of. And they're going to tell you, you have a certain date, time, and location to go to to get your exam. And if you don't, well, you know, you're, you're going to get screwed. It's not really that simple. You have the right to, to have that exam done at a time and place that works for you. We had an older couple who was being asked to drive 90 miles away to get this exam done. And, and, and the wife was going to have to drive the husband because he couldn't drive. And they don't drive that far. They go to church. They go to the grocery store. That's it. Uh, they were willing to drive to a VA hospital, but that isn't where the uh, CNP exams are going to be held. They're going to be held at a private medical office, a uh, private medical building hall in all likelihood. So you can talk to the scheduler and work out. Ultimately, we had to get involved in this because it became very confusing. Um, and if you have a, someone working on your behalf, they can jump in and help out. But your choice isn't go to that unreasonable uh, location or skip the exam. You're, you have that other choice, which is let's reschedule it to someplace I can actually go and that I'm comfortable driving to. Uh, maybe there's a telehealth uh, option, depending on what the nature of the disability is. So don't just assume you don't have a choice. You do have a choice. Another thing recently in the news as we switch topics here is VA has sent out, and you may have received uh, a letter by now telling you that the co-pay deferral that VA instituted in 2020 because of COVID has now um, been reversed and VA wants you to pay up your 2020 co-pays and 2021 co-pays going forward. Depending on how much you use the system, it could be a substantial number. And we've heard from clients who are really worried about their ability to make these payments in the time frame that the letter seems to suggest. And again, wants you to, you know, they want it all now if they could get it. Those aren't, again, remember, those aren't your options. You have additional options. You can work out a payment plan. You can actually ask for a waiver of that, of those back fees. So um, don't get too worried, be a little worried, but don't ignore it. That's the real advice. If you've gotten that letter, it's got a dollar amount that frightens you. Don't ignore it. Get on the phone, call somebody up on the letter, work out a payment plan, or if you're in financial hardship, ask for a waiver. Uh, you have those options as well. And sometimes it seems like it's a very black and white thing. So that's recently in the news and we wanted to make sure you were thinking about that option. <clears throat> As you know, we, we are um, involved with Veterans Radio America or veteransradio.net is how you find it. And we do a weekly podcast with them that you might find of interest. We encourage you to go listen and subscribe. Uh, we did one recently with James Barber, who is the off-duty editor for military.com. And we talked about gaming 
and you say, what? I don't know anything about gaming. It's something my grandkids do, or, or I didn't know anything about gaming either. It's, uh, you should really go listen to this to learn a little something about how the gaming world and the uh, military world intersects, um, how it's uh, useful for the troops who are over in the sandbox, because they can game with their friends back home in the States and do regularly. So it's a very uh, good uh, discussion. Go go listen to veteransradio.net, click on the, the blog talk radio or podcast or any podcast that you uh, I, Google, iTunes, wherever you get them. And look for James Barber uh, from military.com and his gaming discussion that I had with him. And we always like to end by reminding you of the stories of our military heroes. Uh, Legal Help for Veterans is involved with Home of Heroes, which honors those who have the Medal of Honor, Silver Stars, uh, those kind of awards for valor. And we want to point you to uh, Douglas Monroe. He's the only Coast Guard uh, member who's ever received the Medal of Honor. It occurred during World War II. Um, he was involved with a rescue uh, during the Guadalcanal, lost his life, but, it, but a story that'll inspire. So we encourage you to go to homeofheroes.com and look up uh, Douglas Monroe's story. So have a good week. Come on back to uh, legalhelpforveterans.com, check us out, and we'll talk to you next week. Take care. Remember, if necessary, get out of the public and mask up and uh, get those vaccines if you can.